getting Star Citizen into Steam. I'm sort of making this just as a supplemental video that will go in tandem with my Steam Controller profiles, but I want to make it separate because not everybody is using Steam Controller. Some people, you know, people just enjoy putting their games into Steam. The easiest way, which is not the way I use, but I'm going to cover it and explain why I don't use it, is to simply add the RSI launcher into Steam. So you're going to go to Game, add a non-Steam game to my library. Browse. The default location would be Program Files, Robert Space Industries, yes. You're going to go into RSI Launcher, bam, add that into Steam. And if you do that, it's going to work. Piece of cake. But I will show you why I don't use this method. So I have the RSI Launcher right here. Another thing, I always put Steam into small mode. I have found that if I don't do that for Star Citizen in particular, whenever I quit the game, my Steam library will be a black screen, like I can't access the library unless I close the Steam client. It's just a weird Steam bug that happens to me with non-Steam shortcuts ever since they did the update. I've tried multiple fixes. So anyways, neither here nor there. Let me show you why I don't do it this way. Launch game. Okay, so we're in the game. Now, the reason I don't use it is real simple. So I'm going to pull up keyboard. Try to search for Captain Richard. Uh, 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 it, it is, it's doubling every single input. So this the keyboard is completely unusable. And that's because we've added the launcher. It's just, it bugs out. So what will also happen is... It's not just the keyboard. If I was using any radial menu, any touch or radial menu with Steam controller or any Steam input enabled controller, it will double all of those inputs also. I haven't fully tested this just using my configuration to make sure it's not doubling any other controller prompts it inputs. It doesn't seem to, but that would be like I'm not using this method, so I have not fully tested that, but I just wanted to explain to you why I don't use this method, but I do know that several people seem like they do it this way. But also, I have noticed, like, yeah, I can't even access the seam overlay right now. There it goes. Wow, that was a long lag. It's, <laughs> well, right there, you can see it's bugging out. Oh, and it's being super laggy. So if you do not really need to use Steam Overlay and you just want to do the quick and dirty easy way, you can just add the RSI launcher. I'm not doing that. I will show, the, show you the other method, which is a little bit more tedious, but it will give you full Steam Overlay functionality. So the other method is same thing. We're going to go add non-Steam game to my library. Browse. Go to the same location, the install location. Go into Star Citizen. Go into Live, Bin64, Star Citizen EXE. Add it this way. You have it added. I will show you the error that you're going to get because this is where it gets a little tedious. Bam, see we just crashed. Couldn't find user information. I knew that was going to happen. So what you need to do, pull up the RSI launcher. You don't, you ideally doing this outside of Steam completely, like I could do it through this shortcut, but I'm probably just going to delete that shortcut because I will not play the game through Steam that way. So launch the game. And then while the game is still running, Alt-Tab, go to into that live folder. This is what you need. Login data JSON. Copy it. Paste it on your desktop. Or, you know, just paste it somewhere outside of this live folder. You know, just as a, a, a tip, because you're going to need to do this, you will need to do this for every patch, and probably maybe like once every two weeks. Just, you know, every so often, if you get an error that you can't log into the game, this login token needs to be updated. So what I would recommend is, is from this live folder, just create a shortcut. Like, I keep that in my start menu right here. I have my RSI launcher. Star Citizen install. I click it, it takes me straight to this live folder. So I could grab that full that file. Because what's gonna happen when I quit the game, it's because we still have the launcher open. Bam, see that? It just ate the file. So close the launcher. 
paste that login data JSON file back in there, and that's it. Now you're good to go. Now we can launch the game, and everything is going to work perfectly fine. I can easily access things in the Steam overlay. Everything's nice and snappy. I could go up here, pull up the keyboard. actually use the keyboard and then once you are finished and you quit the game because we have quit the game by bypassing the launcher this login the login file is going to stay in there so there you go that's it and then like i was saying i mean you could just add the launcher but even if you figured out a way to bypass uh, yeah, I'm saying don't do that, because you're losing functionality of the overlay. So, it's easy, but, I mean, I don't know, I'm just gonna start waxing philosophical about the easy path in life, like, whatever, it just... I mainly just wanted to show that because I've had lots of people tell me, like, why are you doing this, it's so easy, just add the launcher. It doesn't really work, it, it functions, but you are losing a lot when you do that. So, if you actually need the Steam overlay, I would recommend adding the game exe, bypassing the launcher, and just fussing with that little login file. And then you are good to go. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.